Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. In the previous video, we have seen about the services, right? And uh, we have created a new service and we have uh, injected this all the hierarchical injector and all, the, all those things we have seen. Now, in this video, what we will try to do is, we will try to inject a service into an another service, okay? Let's see in this example, okay, uh, uh, the previous example only, we are having the, we are checking the previous example only. If we check the output, now if I go here and if I check the output, this is the output right now what we are able to see. Now in this, uh, in this, uh, in this thing, when we are trying to add a new user, we are able to add the new user. So we are able to set the active and inactive also. Fine. So whenever we are doing some changes here, okay, whenever we are doing any update, update status update or anything, we need to log the console. So in the previous video, we have seen in the services, we need to log some data to the console or to the database or to any other any other medium so we need to log the data so what we need to do we will we will create a new service okay now let's go to the services and here what i will try to do is log.service.ts i will create log.service.cs so this one what i can say export class log service so i will be having the log service and here what i will try to do is log status i will have a method log status here you will be getting the status of type string or anything okay i will be getting the status here what i will try to do is so for the time being i will do the controller um, logging the status in the console okay plus status and the status is and the status is okay so this is the log status so this is the service now if i go here and if i do the log.service.ts in the app component.ts so what we can do is now we need to what we need to do is i, ne I need to log the data whenever we are adding the user or otherwise we are uh, changing the action or something like this so these are all actions where it is stored it is stored in the user.service.ts so here we are having the add user and we are updating the status so if we if we write here log status it will be sufficient now what we need to do we need to use that logs log.service.cts in the user.service.ts in the previous uh, video i have already told you about the hierarchical injector if you want to inject a service into a service the both services what we need to do it should be in the highest possible level of the of the parent okay right now we are having it in the app component.ts now what we can do is we can remove here and the highest possible level what we need is in this app.module.ts okay so here i can use this user service sorry user user service and also another one i am having is log service so that same instance will be shared to uh, to the service and everywhere log service this one will write log service what is happening here just taking some time okay so here i will try to do log and here i can do log service and here i can do the log service okay so i have imported the both the providers now what i will try to do i will go to uh, app component.ts i have removed this one so that the same instance will be shared across the total angular application now i can go to the user.service.ts and i can inject the service here constructor private log service is equal to log service i can use the log service like this so i am injecting the i am injecting the log service here you need to you need to understand that one thing in the angular if you are injecting a if you are injecting a service into another service we need to add a decorator whenever you are injecting any other third party providers or services into the service we need to provide a decorator that is injectable now we need to provide here injectable okay inject injectable okay so in we need to provide the injectable you can have a doubt that why we are not mentioning this injectable in the component so we are injecting services into that component also right 
why we are not injecting that we are, why we are not using this injectable in the components or somewhere you are you, you may have a doubt here we do, there is no need to in, use the injectable why because we are already using a decorator component okay so the component will take care of all those injector and other things so for in the directives there is no need for you to use the injectable for components here is no need for you to use the injectable why because at the rate component and at the rate directive inbuilt it will be having the injectable concept for the service we don't have any decorator regarding the component or anything right so that is the reason we need to use this injectable so that all the services will be injected now what i can do here i can go this dot log service dot log status and i can use the status here okay in the same scenario i can copy this one and i can paste it here so this is how we can do we can inject the service into another service now if i go and if i refresh the output and if i add anything user here we got the status c we are able to see the status that the data has been injected and also if i do any status or anything update so you will be having the logging logging is working so this is the way how we can inject the services into the other service so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this com video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you